Welcome to the Muscle Repair Shop, where we'll teach you how to live a more pain-free life. Ever had a pain in your elbow that every time you try to grab something or lift something, it really kills you? Ouch, this is really painful in here. And it's like you can't even hold a cup of coffee. It can be very hard sometimes to do that. Some people will call it tennis elbow or golfer's elbow or just plain tendonitis. But the question is, is what is it? How did you get it? And can it be fixed? And that is what I'm gonna talk about today. Hi, welcome to the Muscle Repair Shop. My name is Butch Phelps, and today we're gonna to talk about the causes of elbow tendonitis. What are some of the traditional treatments that typically work on a short term? And can you actually solve this on a more long-term effect? So let's dive into the causes right off the bat. So the elbow tendonitis, which is you'll feel a little knot on the, end, on the outside of the elbow here, and also on the inside here, are attachment sites. And you have five muscles that attach here, running the length of your arm to your fingertips, and it allows you, as you contract it, to open your hands back up. Then you have five muscles that attach here that run down to your fingertips running through the carpal tunnel that as you contract in here actually allows you to close and make a fist. During your day, you use your hands a lot to open doors, to turn on your car, to work on the computer, many, many repetitive things we do on a daily basis. And what happens is that these muscles will start to contract uh, and, and become stiff. And as they do, the pain may show up up here in the elbow. And so what happens when you grab something or you're holding something up, it's requiring you to grip with your hands using the muscles here and the muscles here to hold on to that so that you don't drop it. But the site up here, it's pulling from this site causing immense pain. Now keep in mind, from your elbow to the tips of your fingers, you have like 26 muscles in your lower arm that allows your hand to grip, your wrist to move and turn, rotate, and all the directions that we needed to do that. And that's what makes our hands very helpful for us in getting around. Imagine what life would be like if we didn't have those hands and those arms. So what we wanna do is how can we keep using our hands and our arms and not have the elbow tendonitis. You, many times you'll hear physicians or therapists talk about it's a repetitive injury kind of thing. But every day we need to open doors. Every day we need to type on our phones or type on our computer. Every day we need to hold something to drink in our hand. So there's no way of getting away from repetitive activities. So what we wanna look at is how can we solve the problem? Well, for most of you who've had to deal with this, you already understand what some of the traditional treatments are. Some people will put braces on their elbows or you'll see a lot of athletes, especially in tennis and maybe even golf, you'll see a band around their arm here trying to lessen the pain up this way. They'll use ice when the pain gets really bad, which will numb the pain and it will reduce some of the inflammation but it's not gonna stop the tightness in the muscle that itself, so it's going to just come back. A few people will take pain pills, and pain pills, again, will numb the pain temporarily, but because it's not changing physically how tight the muscles are here, then the pain also will come back again. And then finally, you'll have some people when it gets so bad, will get injections here, and I've even seen a few people who've had surgery on their elbows as well, trying to stop the pain. All of these are just short-term fixes because when you understand that this pain came from gripping with my hand here, that in order to stop this pain, I have to understand how this part of my body works so that as I continue to use my hands, which I'm not going to stop doing, I can do that without ending up with the sharp pains and, and the tendonitis in my elbows. So the word tendonitis itself just means tendons that are inflamed. Anything that ends in I-T-I-S means it's inflamed. So how do you really solve that? Well, one of the first things you can do is have your arm in a bent position like this, take your fingers and, and feel the muscles in the arm here. And you don't have to pull it, push really hard. 
you can push, especially if you have tendonitis, you won't have to push very hard at all before you'll feel some aches and pains in here. Keep in mind that you're not going to push hard enough to push that pain out. And I realize some of you may have gone and had deep tissue massage or you may have something like a Theragun that's beating on the arm and all those kind of things. The problem is, is that the short term relief that you feel from that is coming from the muscles fatiguing out as it's fighting against the pressure through the brain. Okay, so as you use your hand here, you're gonna find spots that are sore, stay there, maintain the pressure, breathe, and allow the, the muscles to relax by using the brain to relax the muscle. You're, you're not gonna force this out, and that's a huge mistake that people make. What you want is that your arms and your forearms here want to be soft enough that you can feel the two bones inside of the arm because in between those bones are muscles as well. So you want to be able to get in between the bones at some point to be able to soften this up so that I have freedom of movement in my wrists and my fingers and in my elbow. And the forearm muscles here have a lot to do with that. That's the first place I would start. When you start to feel this getting tight, maybe getting some tendonitis in the beginning here as you're trying to work this out, use heat up here. Allow this to relax, but be sure that you, when you're done with that, you come in with your fingers and start softening in here again. Little things you can do, like putting your hands together like this and just slowly stretching coming over. Don't hold it for long periods of time. I only hold it for about five seconds at a time, especially when it's tight, because every muscle in your body has a stretch reflex, and if I hold it for longer than five seconds at a time, my brain will start to contract the other side of my arm to pull it back up to stop the pain, and now I'm in strength training mode. These are little things you can do sitting in your chair that you can stop a lot of the elbow tendonitis. I've got a couple of stretches that I will put in the links down below that where you can stretch the top part of the arm this way to free this back up, to allow this to actually work. You can take your thumb working this way to start freeing those muscles back up. And I'll put those links in the description down below. Hey, don't forget, please rate, review, and leave comments if you have them. Also, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you click on that bell because I wanna make sure that you don't miss any new videos that come out every Friday. And until next time, we'll see you. Remember, you never have to live in pain. Let us teach you how to live a pain-free life.